guys, this is Exertion, and we're back again with these daily videos. Okay, I only did a little bit off camera, not much. Um, I cleared out this little little section that I left off in the, la in the last video. Um, and then I placed all these down. And it looks like some of them are growing. I just took down one just a moment ago. So, um, that's that. And... Here in a moment, I want to fill out this this hole over here. So I need to start um, smelting cobblestone, and then um, my plan is to get like walls and floors for my um, storage room and use the wood in here for the walls in my storage room and get that done well not the walls but the floors I'm not for sure what I want to do with the uh, walls yet but um that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing just um, getting these rooms done getting these simple farms done in these videos and then um, after that we will see what we will be doing so and I need uh, I was actually wanting to find that type of flower because I hear that if you grow a tree and you have that flower nearby there's a possibility that you'll be able to uh, grow a um, well, a, not grow but a um, bee nest will spawn in it, well nearby, well on, uh, pretty much on the the tree. So I'm curious and see if that actually works. If so, that's actually pretty good because so then I don't have to go up and above and looking for bee nests because they're going to be like pretty useful for uh, the next update and as well as um. It also just useful for plants and stuff so I want to get that as well um, yeah I know I'm exploring this real quick I just want to see what's down here see if there's any diamonds down here get this iron can't have enough iron it's everywhere okay um, I'm not gonna let this leave it like this because that's just not the that's just not me I like to cover up the holes and stuff it bothers me so um I'm probably not going to be able to get that. Well, actually, I can. Never mind. I can just do this one second. I can just go like this. There we go. Okay, enough with that. Um, I don't think there's anything over there. I just want to really quickly scan this as quick as... <gasps> yep, right there, diamonds. Okay, sweet. I'll get to that in a second. So much materials down here. So much that you probably don't even know what to do with all of it.
Okay, um, get this. And then we will go over there and check out that diamonds. After we check down here real quick. Okay. How much is this? Uh, it's not looking good. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's looking better than I thought it was going to be. Let's mine this out. Okay, so it looks like about four diamonds. So I can make a pickaxe. And I'm not going to use it a lot because there's no I don't have enchantments. So I'm not going to use it often because I would rather have at least mending on it. Okay, uh, let's check down here real quick. I wasn't expecting this to be like a mining video, but things happen, I guess. You get carried away and start doing other stuff. Alright, already found diamonds, so uh, I'm kind of... Okay, this is huge. This is really really huge probably gonna end up getting lost oh no 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 I should turn back now. I've got my diamonds, so let's not make it worse. Yeah, I accidentally die and lose these diamonds. I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Back up. Back up. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on, my knees really quick. Alright. Now the plan is to start heading back. Um, don't think anything's gonna be up here. Okay, let's just head back now. Later on, we can come out here and explore. Or we can just do stirrup mining. I don't know which one's more interesting. This, like, this is interesting, but I get extremely lost really quickly. And I know that's, like, not just me. Everybody's, well, majority of people, I don't know about everybody, but majority of people will get lost doing this stuff so I personally I prefer strip mining because you won't get lost so there could be a possibility where I'm lost already honestly So, uh, 
um, I don't know. If I'm lost, then I'll probably just cut it out until I figure out a way to get out of here. Simple as that. And then we will meet it back to the the base and then um, probably start working on cutting down those trees and stuff like that I don't I don't know if you guys like seeing stuff like that I really I really want to know what you guys find interesting or not what do you guys want to see in the videos uh, during the series what and what do you want me to cut out or if you actually enjoy all of it and you want me to go and explore, you want me to um, do these jobs of like clearing out uh, a room, filling F, uh, making the floors and stuff like that, just let me know what you guys want to see. And I know I've said it several times, but. I have to keep on saying it. So, yeah. Okay, I think I have enough materials for now. Uh, I am going to try to figure out a way out. If I can remember. probably don't and I'm probably going to uh, cut it or something I'm not for sure these stuff are really hard to just let sit here like I'm sorry but like if they're right in front of your face you're you are you gonna have to get them like you can't just let them you can't just pass them by, especially if you're at my point where you don't have a lot of materials. You're just now starting out pretty much. You can't just ignore all this stuff. Okay. Come on. Okay. This is getting to the point where it's just going to be like a mining uh, video. Okay, I'm going into new places. I've never seen this place before. So this is obviously not the right way. So I'm going to turn back. And it's going in the negatives on the... Um, coordinates so I'm clearly going into the wrong direction if I can remember right it's like 50 something so I'm going to the wrong direction so we're gonna just start heading back this is like towards this direction And that's why you have your coordinates on. Pro tip. Um, I want to go around here. So you have a idea if you are lost, if you can remember one digit or well, one of those coordinates then you will know uh, an idea of like what direction to go this is probably wrong as well 
but I'm just gonna go up here and check. There is so much materials, like, jeez. This is honestly probably just going to be a getting materials video, honestly. Um, maybe it's over here. Be careful because I have to remember that there are mobs can spawn and come out of nowhere. So I need to be careful with that. Okay, there's cobblestone here. Okay, okay, I remember. So it's it's up here, I think. Because I remember uh, over there, that's where the diamonds were. So it, it has to be up this direction. Okay. Yeah, up over here. I missed some iron when I was coming down. What the heck? Yeah, it was up here. Yeah. Okay. That's why you have your coordinates on, so then you know how to get back. And if you kind of forget what they are, just have an idea, and you eventually make your way back. Just like what I just did. Pro tips from Exertion. If you need any, probably not. You guys probably know more than I do. Um, okay, um, I have my diamonds, so let's go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe. I don't want to use it a lot. Because I don't have enchantments, so and then this last diamond I want to put down here. The only thing that I would use the, this diamond pickaxe on is either uh, more diamonds or um, ancient bury. For now, until I get uh, enchantments on it, and that will be a little bit because I need to get villagers, and then start a village. And it's I'm, I'm not for like I, I don't know I'm not you know, really for sure how I'm gonna go about with the village it might be like a just a hallway with uh like you walk through the hallway and then there's like these little tiny rooms on each side that has them in there or something I feel like that's how I want to do it well at least in this world my like my other world that I had um the videos that I was making prior to this, those, well, that world, I had, uh, a village in, like, something like this, kind of. Like, it was, like, this little, um, cave, uh, tunnel thing, and they were all in there, and I've made so many in there, and, uh, it's pretty much, um, protective proof. No, like, nothing gets in there, which is really good like I had some really I have some really good villagers in that world and I don't want uh, like it would have been a really bad thing that if like a zombie got in there and killed them because some of them some villagers are like take time to get like you have a you pretty much have to just set down the uh, the workstation and if it's not uh, if the village uh, well the villager isn't what you want it to be then you have to place it down again and then so many times and especially if you're like trying to look for a certain uh, vill uh, villager with the same workstation like 
the um I forget what it's called, but the it's the librarian where they uh give you um enchanted books. <sighs> they um pretty much have um a bunch of different uh types of books that they can uh trade. So uh, the one that you're looking for, you have to sit uh, like you have to constantly break the uh the workstation, place it back down and stuff like that until you get um the um, one that you want to find the um the enchantment book that you want to get and depending on which enchantment you're looking for out of all the enchantments that there are um it is really hard to um one second guys okay sorry guys i had to cut the video for a second um Pretty much what I was saying was, um, you have to find the right villager with the, uh, the with the right, uh, enchantment book. So that just, uh, that takes time, especially, uh, the enchantment book that you're trying to find. That could be, the enchantment book that you're trying to find could be, like, a really rare enchantment book, like, Mending, or, um, what, what is the other, uh, like rare achievement and um i would say um, maybe like loyalty or uh impaling stuff like that so and i've i've sat there for like hours like maybe even sometimes days, real uh, real life days, trying to get certain um, trades. So it takes a lot of time. Um, it shouldn't take too much longer. And these um. These need to hurry up and grow so that I can. Actually, I don't really need them to grow. I just need. Well, actually, I do need them to grow so that I can get um, more bone meal so that I can grow these trees a little bit faster. Um. I don't know why I was looking for. Uh, bread in there. It's like, that's not a crafting table. For some reason, I thought that was a crafting table. But yeah, it's not. It's a composter. Come on. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, um, working on this shouldn't take that much, uh, well, yeah, who knows, it's probably going to take a little while because these trees are taking forever to grow and then we're not doing really much honestly we're just working on this tree all well, these trees on growing and then getting the wood from them let me know if you guys think this is boring as well do you want me to cut out uh, me like continuing, uh, well, constantly, um, cutting down trees, placing them down, uh, over and over. Why is there so many useless mobs in this game? Why are you so useless? Sorry. And then, eventually, I want to work on this as well. probably gonna be the next couple videos right now it doesn't really it, it matters but it doesn't really matter right now because I don't have anything to uh, a chance or anything like that so it doesn't really matter
it just um it's just here for now until I have a use for it because I need to at least have villagers or a uh, enchantment table just to start enchanting but I'm slowly getting there I do have a diamond pickaxe now so that's one step in the right direction Okay. There's so many iron everywhere. I really like iron. Like, it's useless. Oh, well, not useless, but useful. But I think that it should be at, uh, during, uh, well, after the, uh, well, for this update. When this updates, uh, when this update comes out, I think that it should be more rare, honestly. I think, um,. Other ores can be more common and replace, not not really replace, but, but like replace the, um, the iron on like the rarity pretty much. Like, let's say copper, when copper comes out, it should be as common as iron. And then iron should be more rare and more closer to diamond tier. And it's a little more harder to find iron because how useful it is. And it's pretty durable, honestly. It really is. If you like, that's the next best thing if you can't find uh, diamond stuff. Uh, iron is uh, underrated, honestly. I just think it's underrated. It deserves more. Um, it deserves more because it's it's not a bad material. It's it seems like it's better with armor. As armor than tools because the tools go down pretty fast I mean not as quick as gold but it goes pretty fast but I've I've noticed that it's a lot better with armor the durability lasts longer with armor and who knows that might be because you barely get it like you don't get hit as often as uh, using your tools that could be the uh, could be what it is, but it seems like um, iron armor is pretty good. So I think that it should be a little more rare, and then there should be copper um, armor and tools that should be um, a lot more common to find. And they're, um, hopefully, they were talking about it, I, uh, I don't think it's confirmed yet, but the, uh, there's uh, a possibility that they could be, um, extending the building, uh, limit. So, they could be lowering everything, so it's lower, deeper, before you find bedrock. Which is a good thing because that means more layers that you have to go through, and then that's a more opportunity for a new ore that can do the other things. So, um, iron could be a lot lower, a lot lower now. So then it's more uh, more rare, and it can be a little more rare and stuff too. So it's harder to find it, and then um, copper can replace the um, the iron but it's not really replacing because uh copper would be like one less uh tier so it would be like wood tools stone tools um uh copper tools um 
iron tools, gold uh, tools, and then um, diamond tools, and then netherite tools. That's what it would be like. So it's not really replacing iron. It's just um, like copper would be iron today. What uh, iron is today on how common it is and what you, uh, uh, not like all of the like um, mine carts and stuff like that which you make iron out of because that would stay uh, iron but like the common stuff and um, how uh, how common it is and stuff like that and uh, people use it quite often before they find diamond that's how I believe um, copper should be and then they will eventually find um, iron and then iron's a little more stronger a little more closer to diamond so then pretty much it would be buffing iron and this just this is all speculation this is all my ideas this is uh, nothing confirmed or anything like that this is just what i think it should be because as of right now I, uh, copper just uh, you just build um blocks out of and then you um make a um a scope and then that's pretty much about it like I honestly think that there should be uh, tools and armor like it, it's a ore like come on I understand I know that there is some ores in this game already that uh, doesn't have armor and uh, tools but like I don't know like my opinion, I think all ore should have a, 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 um, a tool and armor. The only ones that I don't think that it sh the, that should have a tool or well, tools and armor is um, redstone, lapis, and coal. That's the only things that I think that shouldn't have armor, but... The ones that I already have it, I think that should have it. But then I also think emerald should be a uh, ore. Well, it should have uh, armor and tools. And I, honestly, my opinion, I think that should be stronger than um, diamond. Because I know that I, I, I'm not a expert on like rocks and stuff like that. So I don't know exactly the... Um, the level of like the like how um which one's stronger or, or more durability or anything like that but uh, uh just based on minecraft uh logic um um emerald's more rare than diamond so i think emerald should be more tougher and um a a tier up than diamond and not as strong as uh, netherite obviously but I, I think that it should be stronger than diamond because on how rare it is but it shouldn't be stronger than uh, netherite uh, but uh, like with the thing with netherite people say that there shouldn't be a, a tier higher than netherite well I think otherwise I, I i don't think that it should be a higher tier i think that, uh how they have netherite how you upgrade uh diamond into netherite that is perfect for a new point of view like right now when you first start off you go from um still well, wood from stone to iron um Everybody skips gold, but uh, then you go to uh, diamond, and then after diamond, then you meet a new world, pretty much. Like, that was the grinding uh, step from that point. Now, with netherite, you upgrade your diamond to netherite. Well, why can't you, uh, why can't be, uh, why can't there be other armors as equal as netherite? It just gives a different effect, a different purpose like how netherite is um pretty much lava fire resistant 
Well, then, uh, that's that's a purpose to use netherite. So you would grab netherite and use it to go into the nether or something like that. Well, why can't there be other ores as equal as netherite, but it gives a different purpose and a different reason to use it, and you upgrade your diamond tier to get to those other tiers? It's a new era of uh, pretty much you're just upgrading diamond to the uh, to a different armor that has different abilities different purposes to get to it's not maybe we shouldn't have uh, something stronger than uh, uh, netherite but having other options when you're at diamond i think that should be a, a, that would be a great uh, a, a great thing to bring into minecraft because you like once you get to diamonds you're like hmm should I go into the nether and get a uh, netherite and have f a lava fire resistant uh, armor and tools? Or should I get this armor and it gives this uh, certain abilities and uh, it does this or whatever? Or should I get this uh, other uh, armor and tools that uh, does um, something else? Like, I think that would open up Minecraft more and then have diff different options to people. And I think that you should be able to design your, uh, maybe not diamond or iron or, um, stone or wood or anything like that, but, like, well, actually wood, I think you should be able to do it. But, uh, once you get to diamond and you're going to be upgrading, I think you should be able to change the color of that armor. But if you, if not change the color of it, at least change the color of the enchantment color. Like when you enchant the, um, the tool and then that, uh, like that, um, how it's all glowy and then it's like going through, uh, like, uh, like those, uh, animations is going through the, uh, weapon, like, uh, going like up the, uh, the weapon. Well, there should be, um, you should be able to change that color. If you can't uh, change the uh, like the color of the netherite or change the color of the other tiers that I would be talking about, uh, like they're not really tiers; they're as equal as netherite. But if you can't change, like let's say netherite into instead of black, you want it green or red or purple or whatever like that. If you uh, can't do that, then you should be able to change the um, the color of the enchantment color. Because right now I think it's like a purplish color. So you should be able to change that to other colors that you want. And that would be that would uh, be another option to uh, upgrade. Because uh, netherite and um, um, diamond are pretty close. The only difference is that it's fire resistant. And it's a little tiny bit stronger. And a little bit uh, a little tiny bit durability. Uh, has more durability. So... Um, having fire resistant, and you can also change the, uh, the enchantment color, that's, that would be a good reason to upgrade, just as for the other tiers as well, because you would look at, let's say there's, let's say there's three, uh, tiers, netherite, and then an, another one, and then another one after that, they all have their own purpose, they're just as equal, Pretty much, they just have different abilities and different purposes. Like netherite is fire resistant, lava resistant, stuff like that. But then these other ones uh, have different uh, resist, uh, well, different purposes as well. But then they all can change their color or whatever. So then you're looking at all these options that have different uh, um, purposes that have uh, where you can change their color and stuff. So then it gives you a reason to upgrade from diamond to these other tiers that are, are pretty close to diamond. Like the other, uh, the other tiers are uh, kind of spaced out, which I think that they should be spaced out a lot more since we're um, messing with the uh, the height possibility. I don't know if we, uh, I, I don't know if it's confirmed, but if we're messing with that, then these should be spaced out as uh, as well, and then uh, where it's like gives you more of a reason to upgrade or whatever. Like it's a major difference, and there should be more ores in between as well. I just think that would be a cool idea. I get uh, on rant about that. Um, let me cut down this tree real quick, and then we're probably going to end it from. Uh, oh, pr uh, pr uh, uh, we're probably going to end it after putting these uh, down, and then uh, 
the next video, I'm not for sure what we're going to do. Probably continue to finish this. Um, I don't know if you guys like the... Um, not like me actually starting to like build or whatever and you guys watching me do it slowly by slowly or do you guys want me to cut it out because you guys think this is boring or like just tell me what you guys want to see because I don't know what you guys think is boring and what, uh, what you guys think is interesting because there's different types of uh, Minecraft players and they're interested in different things so uh, yeah just let me know what you guys want to see and I will um, see you guys um, but before we go, I want to say, uh, I truly appreciate you guys, and I truly appreciate your guys' support, uh, and, um, support, and, um, I'm thank you, uh, thankful for every one of you guys that are subscribed, um, if you're not watching, actually, before I even say that, uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like, if you, uh, are watching and you're not subscribed uh, please subscribe hit the bell I upload daily and um, check out my social medias my uh, tw uh, my Twitter and my uh, snapchat I uh, give information if I am um, um, about to upload or if YouTube's messing up and I can't upload during that day um, and also, uh, I would truly appreciate if you guys shared this video to friends and family, because I uh, uh, we are on the road to a uh, hundred subscribers. We're uh, getting pretty close. We have like forty something subscribers left, so we're we're really we are really getting pretty close. So let's get up to a hundred uh, subscribers, and um, yeah, that would be it, guys. I. Uh, We'll see you guys in the next video, and it is all about the game. Mm.